The Cascade Culinary Institute has been open for a couple of years now and they keep getting more and more students. So we sat down with them to see what they really have to offer. In this kitchen, what looks like regular prep work is actually a practical exam. Your window is opening at what time? My window is at 310. You want to know that. Okay. Yep, you want to just know that more than anything else. The Cascade Culinary Institute opened its doors in 2010, and now it's the leading culinary school in the Pacific Northwest. If something browns faster and caramelizes faster and starts getting really dark faster than the rest of the onions or the rest of the carrots in the mirepoix, what is a good way to solve that problem? CCI's Director of Education, Jean Fritz, has seen the program grow from around 80 students to more than 200. 55% of our students are over the age of 26. Uh, you know, coming off the recession, we had a lot of career changers coming in. And we're starting to stabilize and see more high school students coming back in. And one of the things here at Cascade Connor Institute that we're excited about is that we're reaching out beyond the educational district to serve the state um, and even the greater Pacific Northwest. So we're seeing students from different walks of life. Literally had a prospective student here from Louisiana yesterday. Many of the students are chasing dreams once put off by other obligations. After several years of just working jobs to you know, pay the bills, I just really wanted to do something that I loved, that I could be proud of, that my family could be proud of, and so I decided I needed to go back to school for cooking because it was just something I always loved. Mother of two, Jessica Littlefield, drives from Lapine at least four days a week for classes. It definitely makes you feel like you're a part of something, you know, a part of a bigger picture. If you've ever watched a cooking competition show on TV, you might think all chefs are one second away from boiling over. Jessica says, not here. Everybody here is just really like welcoming and really informative of how it will be in the industry and shows you that some of that stuff's the, you know, not really how it is everywhere. In fact, here at the Jungers Culinary Center, one of their biggest concerns is acting and looking professional. We even have on a mirror outside in the hallway, uh, the mirror states, would I hire me? And, and so the goal is for any student during the day, if their uniform isn't up to par, if their attitude isn't there, we might walk out to the mirror and have that conversation about, are you ready for the industry? When students graduate, many already have jobs lined up in the industry. Tracy Amel Novsiger won't be going far. I'm graduating here in a couple of weeks after uh, being at the culinary school, and um, I was just um, given the fellowship for back of the house for in the kitchen. That means she'll be the assistant to CCI's executive chef. I love the passion. I love the creativity. Uh, it allows me to step outside my comfort zone and. Uh, develop new flavors and make people happy. So it's that's the best thing in the world. I'm at home when I'm in the kitchen. For many students here, learning the craft of cooking isn't all about getting a degree. It's their recipe for happiness.